Sit, turn, type, sit. Good boy. Roof. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. Mike needs a, a new background. Or, 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 or. Oh, I like that. I that's what I need. I need a, I need a different background for the show. I need something from like I don't know what the hell I need. <laughs> you need an outside exterior, another like a sunset or some shit. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Echo, why are you even? Did I didn't even say Echo? It's like yes. <laughs> I'm having trouble here. Can you see? <laughs> Mind your business, Echo. If you'd like to tell me how I can improve, try saying I have feedback. Fuck off. <laughs> I wish I could hear you. <laughs> um, that's, that's funny. That's a nice. That's a nice look for you, Mike. That really does, and especially with the piano in the back. It just says, "Look at me. I'm ostentatious." That's a listen. I would love a house like that. Shit. Uh guys. This is this is a big weekend for me. I I I, I the, this is this is gonna be a great great weekend for me. What what's going down and what's happening? This is awesome. What's, what's going on? on, Jay? I mean, I, you guys don't know. I mean, just, why do we do a podcast? Of course, you know why. Yeah. Football season. Yeah. Oh, oh, you guys in your football. Yeah. yeah. Men in their football. My Giants is gonna suck this year, but that's okay. <laughs> More fantasy football leagues. It's awesome. Oh my I, god! I mean, Jay, you have your Giants. I'm I'm staying hopeful for we'll just week one of the Jets. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> Woo hoo! Don't get hurt. First play of the game. Woo! No, <laughs> no, 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 not 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 eleven again. Not 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 eleven. Oh oh, I forgot. And um uh, yeah, all out is this weekend too, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that'll be the main event. But uh, yeah, but other than that, football. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh get it. God. I'm so mad that I work this weekend because I can. Yes, I can. I would part. I'll still partake in opening game stuff. I will do game day stuff. I'll, I was going to say. Right on it. I was gonna, I was going to say that's not stopping you. Work, work, work doesn't give a damn. Hey, 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 I have responsibilities, sir. Mm-hmm. You remember that. I have responsibilities. So, as always, I am the, uh, well, before I even go into that, I forgot. I have guests today in Turnbuckle Tabloids Wrestling Rundown, ladies and gentlemen. I have uh, the host of Histories and Headlocks on your New York Wrestle Media, the network. I have Ariana and Mike. Because, you know, we don't want to be whole milk anymore. We just want to be Mike now. You see, with his exterior that he has now in his uh, his his home that he's living in these days. He's, uh, <laughs> we play good over here in New York WrestleMania. We, uh, we, we, we play good. Exactly. I'm, just, I'm still waiting for my pay. So. Ooh. It's coming. It's, it's coming not beautiful. <laughs> We all just coming in a Brinks truck. They're gonna have it in that. And armored, armored uh, guards are gonna bring. Oh, it in. sweet! The New York WrestleMania check is it's coming soon. Coming nice. soon. Nice, awesome. We're, we're still waiting to be monetized, Ariana. Promotion, <laughs> <laughs> promotion, you know, promotion. Little promotion. Hey. We're gonna be the greatest wrestling oh, media podcast ever. It's, it's just we're gonna be great. We're always gonna be great. So as always, I'm the Norm McDonald of this segment, and this is your, uh, your wrestling rundowns weekend uh, update. You okay over there? Yeah, I'm good. I just got to get into the flow. So, uh, did anybody hear some stuff about Nikki Bella and this whole divorce thing? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm going to defer to you because you know ah. this is kind of like um, <laughs> a more sensitive, gossip. <laughs> gossipy kind of subject matter. It's wow, that came out of left field. Do you watch Dancing with the Stars or? No, no, I don't really watch it. Uh, but I did know she was married to one of the dancers on the show, and you know, like they just had a baby what, like a year or two ago. 
Uh, something like that. No, yeah. no, no. The baby's a baby. There may be like three already. Yeah, yeah, he's about the same age as 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 a uh, buddy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's it's... A birdie. A birdie. One of the, yeah, it is it's one of the little guy, buddy. Yeah. Son. Yeah. But um, dude, Ooh. like that blew my mind. I I didn't know really what to make of that news. Like, shh, like, I, how do you? <laughs> She's like, I, like I just never understand like how a person could put their hands on their spouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like. But then it, you know the thing that blew me out was like, I I wouldn't like you, know, you never can tell with anybody, but him like that kind of right. guy. Like, I'm like you know he looked. He, he, whenever you watch, I don't know if you watch Total Bellas. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I just saw clips. <laughs> he, he didn't seem like that kind of guy. Yeah, I mean. he doesn't. He doesn't look like a, a, an aggressive right person. A, he looks. That's a scary right. thing, though. The people that you least expect are the ones that are the most violent or the most crazy. Right. That right. is true. That is very true. Like, don't don't judge a book by its cover with that one. You know, and a person gets angry, you don't know what they're capable of doing. I mean, I mean, shit. We're gonna talk about the other person that that has allegations against him. He lost his job, but I mean, when the initial headline was like uh, Artem gets arrested for domestic violence, which right? Is like. like did, did, like I joke, I joke, I jokingly said, "Did he not understand the theme song? You can look, but you can't touch." Right. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Nice, good one. Yeah, I know it's, it's, it's dark, but come on. Uh, all right, we get it. No more Vince McMahon's docu series that's going to be on Netflix. Uh, I I already know that me, I might. I, I'm gonna have to watch it because I have to do a report for it anyway. Because as silly as this show can be, I'm considered media, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. But uh, at the same time, there are key individuals who were not to be, uh, who were not interviewed for this. For for example, Jim Ross was not interviewed for this mm-hmm. Netflix series, and it's like, why not get one of the closest guys in to Vince to be talk, you know, to talk about it? He's gonna be honest. He's not gonna bullshit. He's in, yeah. in a, in, a, in a, the Vice series in the Dark Side of the Ring, he never bullshit. So, right. uh, yeah. But also, um, I think Bill Simmons is doing it as well, and he could be a little fluff piece kind of guy sometimes as well. So, I said unless they they get down to the nitty gritty and we find out why he's a fucking deviant, I'm probably gonna say this is gonna suck. What about I, you? I mean, they did allude to it in the trailer and. When you see the people that got talking, like the talking heads, Stone Cold, The Rock, John Cena, Hulk Hogan, like all the people he made famous, and those, unfortunately, in the past year have kind of shown their support for Vince in a bad way. But, I mean, it's, 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 I'm not surprised Jim Ross is not a talking head because, I mean, not for nothing, if Jim was a talking head, he'd be like, that motherfucker made my life miserable. He would have like unloaded everything that that man did to him over the years. Right. Yeah. I, I I could imagine the people that they chose to speak on the show were probably like Mike said, people who kind of sort of still support him or won't have anything bad to say about him because um, they may not want to dabble too far into what's been going on the last couple of years. Because mm-hmm. I, I haven't seen the preview, but um, I know I, uh, I think I saw a screenshot where he says something like, Oh, everybody thinks I'm this bad person, and I want to show that I'm not as bad as people think I am, or some crap like that. Yeah, and yeah. so I, I, I just pushing yeah. people in the pool as a with all their clothes on and shit. And, yeah, and, and meanwhile he was shitting on people's heads, you know. Yeah. It's allegedly, like, allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> it's like I just feel like this is gonna be a big like ass kissing, trying to paint him like this amazing boss. An amazing human being. I, I, I don't think they're going to touch base on some of the negative stuff. When, when, when the trailer they do. What are they going to do? Yeah, quick. When the tra- in the trailer they did allude to it at the end. But it's all, it's all just a piece yeah. of been saying, don't believe what you read or anything like right. that. Right. It's a fluff piece. And then like, you have Triple H as a talking head. Meanwhile, he's running the company. Like, I mean, it would be interesting if Stephanie or Shane are talking heads on this, but I doubt it. It's wrestling! Yeah. Next up. Is AEW overpaying their wrestlers? It seems as though that WWE is not pleased with the fact that uh, AEW may have over uh, overpaid talent such as Swerve Strickland, uh, some that uh, that they were pursuing. Uh, is this good or bad for business? Out of your thoughts, 
I don't think it's WWE's business what another company pays their workers. They dropped the ball with Swerve big time. They fired him. They didn't bring him back. He made his name in AW. He deserves every penny that he's getting. I don't know how much it is, obviously, but I don't doubt that he deserves it because he has he has done everything possible to be noticed, to be put on the map. He works his ass off every week that we see him on TV. And every match he has is phenomenal. So for them to now say, oh, he doesn't deserve it. Who are you to say that? So then what are you paying your actual workers? I'm curious to know. I know I've, I heard nobody makes less than six figures on the roster. So uh, mm-hmm. and, and on twofold, number one, uh, Vince fired uh, Swerve. Right. Right. That mm-hmm. was Triple H's boy. Right. He wanted him badly to stay there. That, that was that was Vince's deal to get rid of uh, the whole hit roll. Right. That's, that's, that, that's there. Secondly, right, they shouldn't be looking at other people's money. Right. The barometer is, though, is once you start, this is the old WCW, um, WWF thing all over again. This is what we're looking at. Uh, you're giving them guaranteed contracts. They're getting paid X amount of money. And um, I believe in WWE, the highest contract that they had was Brock's for a while. Mm-hmm. Brock or not, what was the highest. Um, behind them, I believe it was Roman. Then um, Becky was getting, Charlotte's getting good money there. They, um, I know they, Cena was like 10. Right. He, Cena at one point was getting that. Uh, Taker, but I, Triple H still. I think what it is, no, Triple H, talent-wise, was only getting $2 million a year. Yeah, but he was still like up in the top 10s. No, not not compared to the talent of Zed. He, he, his money actually dropped once he became a, um, the COO. Once he became the COO, he, um, his, his, his pay dropped because he got the executive money. That's what went right. Um, I, but I think what they're, what they're looking at is how they're swinging the scale of salary rise when it comes to talent across the board for wrestlers. To me, um, it's going to happen gradually anyway. It's going to happen. It, it, you know, it happened in all sports, it's football, baseball, down the line. They're going to get big name contracts and big, big money contracts. Um, the fact is, talent is now going to wait and measure. Is it going to be about the money or is it going to be about, you know, the comfort of where I'm at or where I can work at? That's what that's pretty much down the line what it is. And, and think about this too for guys like Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix who are about to be free agents. If they see what Swerve's getting, they're thinking all our money's going to him. They might just go and they might take the offer from WWE and say, you know, that's a good paycheck. I'll, I'll go over there. Well, which we, will lead me to. So apparently AEW is being sued by Kevin Kelly and the Tate brothers. Uh, <sighs> With this being, Kevin Kelly is suing due to, believe me, when it comes to big business, everybody, if you don't get sued, you ain't doing business. Right, but, exactly. So, doing something right. <laughs> so, apparently, <laughs> with the, uh, Kevin Kelly, his issues more along the line of uh, he and Ian Rickenbottle, uh, uh, their Ian Rickenbottle's issues down the line, in which Rickenbottle called him. A QAnon follower and much more right. other stuff. Right. As for the King brothers, their their lawsuit is about well, they said that they cut us due due to budget cuts, but yet you just signed Swerve Strickland and Daniel Garcia to all his money. So where's the budget cuts? I will I will add the, the reason they were because Tony Khan mentioned this when those budget cuts did happen. He said not only was a budget, but it was also the fact that when it came down to booking the Tate brothers. They no showed a lot of their stuff, so right? That was, so he made public it's, it's, that was that was a reason for their. Right, it was just it was more discipl- disciplinary than budget, mm-hmm. right? So at the same time, the Tate brothers have argued and said, "No, we have receipts saying that that's not what the issue." But uh, we're gonna see who, how it plays out. Because why? Who's taking the case? Stephen P. News. Stephen P. News. Stephen P. News. Stephen P. News. Oh, mm-hmm. Stephen. So Stephen P. News is taking the case. Jim Ross had said on his podcast, he says, "Well." Um, when you're dealing with big business, as in, I'm paraphrasing, when you're dealing with big business like a Tony Khan, you're not going to have the money because he could pay all day for his attorneys and right. you're not going to be able to. But I have to say, with a guy like Stephen P. New, 
he likes shit like this because he gets notoriety and he he wants to be big big business. So uh, I like to see how this plays out. Yeah. Kevin, Kelly, Kevin Kelly has such vengeance behind him. Those I are just like honestly, I, I didn't even think he was that great as a broadcaster. Like as a ring, as a backstage interviewer, he was fun, mm-hmm. but play by play snooze. Like honestly, like they did us a favor by getting rid of him. Speaking of getting rid of Odyssey Jones, gone, Ooh. disappeared. Magic, he's out of here. So he disappeared for two years, comes back for like a, two weeks, and then gets fired. <laughs> but Adi, the same thing yeah. you thought, I thought immediately once he got on. What was your thoughts when that happened? I mean, when I heard he was, he disappeared, I'm like, oh, he did something. Mm-hmm. He did something because somebody, you don't just yank somebody off like that with no kind of like notice, no kind of announcement. It's like he didn't exist. So he did something. And then to find out that there was somebody commenting about him for months on, on X, leaving comments, and not just recently. I think it's this started going back in like when did he when did he get back on TV? Like in July? Yeah, it was around yeah. yeah. Well, it was started even before was, he was on TV because they wished him about happy birthday or something. And this person just started to write about him abusing her. Right. And for months, this person was putting it out there. People were either ignoring it or telling them to shut up. You're lying, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, at this point, some kind of proof was this was presented to WWE. And, and, and they made the decision that he's got to go. This reminds me a lot of the Enzo situation. Because remember when he, when he got fired, uh, the allegations came out and then WWE took quick action and then just got rid of them. Because WWE, at this point, let's be real here, they do not want to deal with lawsuits anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're dealing with the Janelle Grant one. And then mm-hmm. this, and then when this came up, they're like, are, are you fucking kidding me? Right. They, and they, probably, they probably asked him, what you, what's going on? And then he probably gave his reason. And they said, listen, we got to let you go. We can't have you right now. No, no. But the same no. thing happened with Rich Swan, And uh, he was cleared of his incident uh, until recently, which we just found out breaking today that... Uh, yeah, he, he was found yeah, guilty yeah, of all yeah. his charges uh, with, oh. which, uh, of um, uh, breaking and entering and public uh, display of uh, intoxication. So that's a, it's, a, it's a bad look. But he said he's going into help for that. Right. Um, as for Odyssey Jones, immediately when I saw that, that it was him going bye-bye, I was like, yeah, this got to be a DV case. Automatic. I said, it got to be DV. And that would be the, the, the best way to go because it was a CP case. Oh, that looks bad. Because, Even worse. Yeah, so I, I, I pretty much knew yeah. something went down the line with that. Uh, yeah, I, no company wants that. Because look at what happened with BJ Whitmer, right? Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. gone. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. It was, it was a fun two weeks for Mr. Odyssey Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the drawing board. Next up, <laughs> don't, don't worry, Oba Femi is going to fill that role really, real nicely. Don't worry about it. And, and, our, and our boy, and, our, and now our boy carrying across is feuding with the Miz. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has a new target, Ariana. <laughs> oh. When did, did I miss this? When when does when did this happen? I'm sorry, <laughs> we're like derailing this. Uh, this happened on Monday. It happened on Monday. It was a backstage thing. I must have been in the bathroom. Cross, the cross, 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 like, remember when you were. <laughs> He was, it was like, remember when you were WWE champion and the Miz looked all sad and defeated? Like, oh. oh, and then it's like, oh, awesome truth versus final testament. <laughs> and not to lie though, but New Day is kind of jinxed though, because whenever they end, like a, a start building up a rivalry or something going on, something happens. Big E gets hurt. Now this, it's like, oh, back to the drawing board, guys. Uh, yep, <laughs> we can't turn none of you guys heel. So we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they're not splitting up anytime soon now. I don't think. Oh, oh no, please. Uh, just some quick notes on some signings. Uh, Nikki Cross has resigned with WWE. Yay, Nikki. Um, Oscar has resigned with WWE. Yay, Oscar. And uh, Victoria lands herself a Legends deal with WWE. Woohoo! Hall of Fame. Wow, time. Hall yes. of Fame. Oh I've my God. Always <laughs> loved her. And then come to find out that she's a chubby chaser. Yeah, and honestly, yo, let me tell you, I got to finally meet her in Philly, and she was a bucket list for like two decades. 
Right? Wow. And That's cool. It was worth meeting. She is one of the nicest, sweetest, kindest, friendliest people. Like you felt like I felt like I knew her all my life. That's how she makes you feel. Ah man, Victoria. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tara. But listen, whatever. I, I, I always like to I always like to ring work. Um I always liked her entrance music, whichever one she used. Oh, yeah. Tattoo. Tattoo, Tattoo or Tattoo was great. Someone somewhere is broken, broken. It always felt with Victoria that she was like the WWE was like blackballing her for some weird reason. And then it was like good to see her at the rumble during the pandemic. That was a genuine surprise. Now it's like for for me and Jay, get her in the video games, get her in the Hall of Fame, like start yeah. bringing her back to get her back in the mix. Yeah, she's um, like I said, she's um, like I said, she she was ahead of the, uh, ahead of the game when it came to um, work wise. She was she was actually really good. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to Tom Lattimore for winning the NWA World Title this past weekend. Lattimore defeated EC3 for the Covenant ten pounds of gold. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Bram is the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Hey, hey, hey. The, the guy is actually a good work, though. I, I, I just, like, because of what um, his history was, and it was all, you know, rectified later on down the line, uh, the guy has made great strides to show that he could actually work in a ring and um, um, fix his mistakes. So, uh, congratulations. To him. EC3 also had a good run as well there. Cool dude. Uh, I got to find a way to get into NWA a little bit more like I used to, but I just can't. Like, I don't know what yeah. it is. I just can't. Ty- Tyrus left the big shit and just, yeah. just, it just stinks. I guess. I don't know. Also, can we say, could be, uh... also what is with EC3's tattoos? It's just a bunch of black lines on them. Like, what the fuck what are you doing, bro? <laughs> it, looks, uh, it, looks like, it looks like he's on drugs. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> those are those are um those are scars. Those, those are those, those mean um, um pain in my life. I I, I can't call it the, 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 the control the control your narrative. Shit. All right, look, look at the picture. Of yeah, I'm look, look at, I'm gonna pull them up right now. Yeah, why Let's you see. do that? Congratulations to Killer Kelly. She's pregnant. Mm. Oh, I love this. Who uh who's that man again? Um. Myron Reed. Uh, 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 Myron Reed. Myron Reed. Right, right. Shot. I didn't expect. I didn't think they were. I didn't even know they were dating. The, yeah. fourth, the fourth rascal. The one they don't why, talk about. Why? Oh, I see them now. Yeah. Why is it that the Killer Kelly that I remember for a couple of years ago doesn't look like the Killer Kelly I see now? For some Thank reason, you. Different. Right. Her hair. She, 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 she got a glow up. Yeah, like it's just, the red hair is gone because she's growing out her. You she can't dye her hair when she's pregnant. Right. Or and then you know she's got that beautiful fuller pregnancy glow, like Mike just said. I don't even know, like even beautiful. The, I was like, wow. I said that's beautiful. not the same. Okay. I, I mean, she's beautiful. We talked about it before, Ari. When we talk, when we talk about the difference between Kurt Angle from WWE to Kurt Angle and TNA, <laughs> he was <laughs> frightening in TNA. That clip. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, Perk Angle was was very scary in TNA. The way he just looked into the camera, like, yeah, <laughs> he pulled the mask off, and he just it was so weird. And he like, long. yes, with just that creepy smile on his face, like hi, the, the thousand yard, the thousand yard stare. <laughs> Oh. And in the beer, he looked like I say, he looked Dominican, man. <laughs> the beer is straight, straight out of Dominican barbershop. Straight. Lie, lie, Dominican. <laughs> um, everybody excited? Mercedes Monet is dropping an album in December. Woo-hoo-hoo. Next, next. I was skipping this music? nonsense. Yeah, yeah, she's. She, I you me. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. And I swear, I'm mad because it drops in December and third announcer table will be on hiatus during that time because I would love to hear their thoughts about that. Oh, don't worry. They'll make, they'll be the season for now. We'll make them, make <laughs> them mean, wait. You don't, maybe she's a good singer. You don't know. I mean, no, yeah. is it she cusses with Brandy and Ray J and Snoop? Yeah. Just Snoop. It's supposed it's to be Snoop. Snoop. And, and Ray J and Brandy. Yeah, yeah, They're all cousins. They're, they're all cousins. So, so I mean, maybe she inherited the musical gene too? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Positive over there. 
<laughs> hey, listen. You never know. Me and Jay said it last week. You're so positive on everything. I try. <laughs> I, be, tr- I try. It's going to be her theme music, and I'm going to be like, yep, that's how we're going to sell it. No problem. <laughs> I've had to get Camille wrapped in her. Next up, Giselle, Giselle Shaw was released, no, fired by TNA. Was she fired? I thought she asked for her release. Granted her release, Jay. Granted her release. No, apparently in the back it said that she was fired, that uh, higher-ups and executives uh, were ready to let her go, and some had said that they did not know of her sexuality. Really? I, come on. As a matter of fact, I believe uh, one said wrestler was the one who brought it to their attention. That's what the, 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 the gossip is, girl. But, um, yeah. So- I think it has more to do with who uh, who her man is. Exactly. Yeah, I, I would think that's what it is, but it because they can't fire somebody because of their sexual sexuality. That's a guarantee lawsuit. But it was also said that somebody was trying to drive her, her uh, 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 like drag her name through the mud by saying that she was sleeping with a lot of wrestlers as well. Like what? Well, I mean, she was dating the promoter at the time, so I mean. I mean, I don't know how long they were dating until they, like he got in power and she started wrestling for them. But it's just like when that was revealed, it was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Because then, noticeably, she got a push on TV. And then once Scott Demore got the axe, she wasn't used on TV for TNA anymore. So kind of the writing was probably was pretty much on the wall for her and her run. Yeah, I mean, I think they're still together. No, they live together. No, yeah, they're still together. It's just that now it's like. I guess, like I said uh, last week, I think Giselle is probably going to be uh, doing Scott's promotion soon. Probably, because her last post from earlier today on IG said, going to shake things up. Are you ready? Mm. Okay. Okay. Good. All right, Adi, you can take a breather on this one because this is where men talk. Real men talk on this one. <laughs> here. So, Mike, what about that WWE 2K24 release, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all can talk. I'll, I'll, I'll look around for EC3 tattoos. I thought you were <laughs> men talk. Yeah, so what you thought about the the, 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 the release that you moved up, Mike? Oh, Jay, what was the last message I sent to you about uh, 2K? You can't do uh, an update for this fucking tag belt? <laughs> oh, no, please. Hey, not happening. Not happening. Also, um, they moved up the day because apparently they got it wrong. They have to do what, what, con- what they've been doing down the line. Uh, Every time they release, which is basically on Wednesdays, uh, this is going to be their biggest pack they have. I think everybody. I'm anticipating this one because this is the one I'm going to be live streaming. This is why I'm going to start doing the universe off on the network with because I'm going to get this pack because, and, because this pack has all the current fucking people on the roster. Right, you waited until fucking September to do this. Like honestly, Jed Cargo, Lara Valkyria, Carlito, Dragon Lee. Uh, Michelle McCool, which is a weird one. Nia Jax. Nia Jax, and there's another one. There's another female. There's it's seven a, of them. Yeah, it's 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 a stack, stack fucking DLC, and we had to wait till September to get it. We we got Post Malone and Pat McAfee's pack before this. Right. Yeah, and, I wanted to play, I wanted to play with a football in a game. Uh, awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, so so, uh, now, so now I can throw a chocolate and a football at people. Exactly. <laughs> You've never what, been raised in a Spanish household, brother. That's what the whole shit. You, well, you well, now, at the only two things you get thrown at. One oh, of many. Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Mm. All right, Adi, you could come back. Men finish stop talk. If I finish talk, <laughs> men stop. All right. you can come back. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. WWE's headquarters, the old Titan Towers, are for sale. How much I got? Let's put some money into this. <laughs> that could say, be our studios, right? <laughs> New, York Wrestling, New York Wrestling Media Building. Right. That's Connecticut. Right. <laughs> big logo. Just got the big mask with it. Oh, it'll be great. Imagine. Oh, my gosh. Nice New York Wrestling Media in Connecticut. Because the rent is cheaper. Shut up. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true. Mind your business. Uh, yeah. Um, out with the old, in with the new. Has anybody seen the new one? You know, it's funny because mm-hmm. anybody who drives up that way, Whenever they go past WWE headquarters, the old or the new, they have to send me a picture. Yes. Uh, they feel the need to send me the picture. And you know who's never been up that way? You. Me. Never. Really? Never. never. 
no. No, I remember when as we would we would go to like shows or signings in Connecticut and we drive by the old one. Right. And we'd be like, look. <laughs> <It's Mecca. laughs> yeah. oh. Everybody yeah. every, everybody that goes by the old building would take a picture in front of the steps, be like, I'm on my way to the big time type thing. <laughs> when, I, when I was little, when DX did the whole spray paint the DX on the building, me and my dad drove up there. No pictures, we just drove the drove up there to be like, Oh, that's cool, and then drive back. Uh-huh. <laughs> you saw the DX on it? Yeah, that was when DX spray painted the whole DX oh, okay. on the side of the oh, building. Wow, so they kept that up for a while. Yeah. I think it was like the day after we went. Oh, okay. That's cool. Did you see who made a return to wrestling? Oh, Mandy oh. Rose has made a oh. return. Oh. She looks as though she's in a... They had a recent contract signing with her and the Juggernauts. Jordan Grace at a oh. uh, in an, in an indie uh, event. Um, I can't believe that OnlyFans money really dried up that fast, huh? That, that, that can't be it, right? She's a millionaire, Jay. She's she's set for life. <laughs> when you talk, when you said wrestling legend, I thought you were gonna talk about the. Uh, I, I, didn't say legend. I said guess who's coming back to wrestling? I said well, legend. Uh, well, I thought you were gonna mention the whole Dory Funk thing. He did the death match over there in Japan. Seven generations, uh, 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 I mean, seven decades of wrestling. Oh my God, go home, viejo. Go home. <laughs> He's like dad's age. He's like eighty-three or something like that. Gassi, Gassi, he's almost there, yeah, or something like eight, that. My dad's gonna be eight three next month. I can't imagine him doing. This. I just it's like it's like, hey, Adi, have you been seeing the videos of Frankie Valley that they're just putting him out yeah. there? Hey, he looks like an animatronic from Poor like thing. Disney World. And I love Frankie Valley. And he's not he's not even singing. He's just like they wheel, they wheel him singing. out, right? Yeah. Like like he's a stack of boxes and just put him there and. He can't even get the words right by, by lip syncing it. I'm like, yo, who's doing this? And somebody and people were like, "Oh no, I was there. He was singing." Oh, oh my God. he looked. He looks like an old karate film. It's like mm. he's not. It's, it's not it's, the dubbing is bad. Yeah, Tony Bennett had freaking Alzheimer's and he looked better. Yeah, he was singing. And he was. He, he knew his songs. Yeah, he, he was singing. He still the song time. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, Mandy Rose is back. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's so random. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You saw that she she said she would come back if she is if she, she would come back if she joins the raw roster only. Oh, okay. She wants that Netflix money. I, I, I guess. definitely. We're gonna you gonna see you already know you're gonna see the vignettes of <laughs> the golden goddess makes her return. You can oh, see God. you can not only see me on Netflix, but you can also see me on my OnlyFans. Oh Lord! And here's my tag team partner, Eva Marie. You want you want feet pictures? It's another twenty five dollars. How do you ever thought about doing that? Like OnlyFans for your feet? I don't know. For my feet? Nah, 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 nah. Nobody's. Oh, I thought. Whoa. I was like, whoa, no, hey, that's. I was gonna say, change is out right said. No, (laughs) my feet. Yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't like my feet, so I don't see how well, I. Everybody can. will, but I, I hear women make like three, four grand a month on. Yeah, it's crazy. People, listen, the fetishes out there, man, are they not. There and they like crush peanut I butter, mean, uh, fucking have M and M's on their toes. I'm very grateful that I have a good paying job. <laughs> you have, you have dignity. I have Your dignity. Pride. I mean, pride. maybe if I were to lose my job tomorrow, I'd be like. Shh. Shit, if I could get away with it, I'll do videos of me like painting my toenails, rubbing lotion on it, squeezing hot dogs between my toes. I, I, <laughs> I shit on it. I, I, know, I just do- don't like feet, so I can't. Mm, I don't even like my own feet. So. <laughs> I just love how this all started with, all right, have you ever thought about doing OnlyFans? <laughs> I know, I like, and then it's like with your feet, with your, with your feet, with your feet. <laughs> but you see, how, that, that's, you see, that's what you do. That's how you. That's how you learn. Put that little, so, yeah. Slight little pause in there, and I'm like, yeah, it's a little little caveat. Then you make a left turn, and you go. In that, in that moment, Ariana was like, "I was told I was asked to do history and headlocks, not only fans." <laughs> Hey, 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 what kind of fan shit is going on here? New York Russell Media only fans now. <laughs> what kind of photo shoot are we doing? Wait a minute, huh? what did I do? New York Russell Media only fans. Gotta make a no, note. Lord, Any case, Jesus. Uh, speaking of Vince, it seems as though Fox Network was not happy with his booking, for, uh, which is causing the reason why that they are actually having to say bye bye with them. What is wrong with uh, these companies? <laughs> I believe you knew it. what you were getting, Fox. You idiots. But, <laughs> but they, they were probably sold a bill of goods, and with Vince saying something, and 
whenever they came to have board meetings and say, hey, Vince, this is, you know, this is the kind of direction that we want to go to. At least this was a network that actually knows what the hell they're talking about. It's not like years past where they just, well, you're looking at a demo. It was like, no, we want better booking on this show. So <coughs> they lose out on the deal. And uh, next week we see um, SmackDown on, on USA. I was going to say, it's quick. It's, it's a quick turnaround next week. Next yeah, we get, new season. we get three, not one, not two, but three WWE shows on one network, Raw Monday night, NXT Tuesday, and the debut of SmackDown on Friday. Oh, I, th- I think they also said we're getting new logos, new theme songs, and intros too. Isn't it, yeah, isn't it supposed to be like the season debut of all of them and stuff? Do yeah. you wonder why? Do you wonder if that's the reason? I mean, maybe it's just me, but I've heard some other people say lately, Raw uh, SmackDown's been very dull. Like, do you wonder if they just been phoning it in the last couple of months because they know they're leaving? Well, I, it'd, be, I, it'd, be, it'd be funny on the USA for me if they go all out with the fucking <laughs> I love all over the place. like the back like, back in the day, the fist. They bring the fist back out. <laughs> The Rock returns for the main event against Cody. For the debut, <laughs> I, want the the again. I want the dude that's on TikTok and on Instagram that does the Jacob Fatu. We get yes. a fall. <laughs> yes, that dude is awesome. I want that it's dude Fatuing in the Ooh, laundry mat. We need a roll. Like, that's what I want. That's Yo. the debut I need. That'd be awesome. By the way, Mike, we got to get him on the show. He's actually a big wrestling fan. Yeah. There's a lot of people we gotta get. We gotta get the uh, big trouble Ben Bishop on this show. Too. Oh my god, that would be amazing. He's so fucking funny. This all this shit. Yeah, who's, on... the other, who's the other one? The professor? No. The, the, uh, the, the... Oh, Mr. Professor. Him <laughs> too. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, mm-hmm. him. He would be so great to get on the show. Yeah. He's adorable. Well, that's good to know, Ari. <laughs> He's like a big teddy bear, you know? Well, you guys too. Like I said, history, you know, history and headlocks. You guys could do interviews on. I don't know. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make our connections. Yeah, we, we, we we got shit lined up. Don't yeah. worry, Joe. Once we once we're settled in. Speaking, really of, speaking of old school, Saturday night's main event coming back. Really? Mm. Like, what 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 are you guys are hearing about this? Yeah, I saw something about that. Just today, yeah. we have heard about it. A big a big NBC special or something like that. That's what it was called. Well, in a, well, uh, when years ago, you know, back in the times when you know, when I was in my youth, you and me both. Yeah, I didn't want to call you out, but you know, <laughs> oh, Mike called me out of filming. <laughs> I didn't call you out that bad. I was like, oh, 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 oh. he just called her. Oh, oh. I'm trying to let people think I'm younger than what I am, man. Eh? The whole lighting God. and the filtering goes on. That's what you know. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So years ago, anytime Saturday Night Main Event would come on, it was because uh, uh, Saturday Night Live was on hiatus. So we'll right. always get those specials, and those were the shows because your parents let you stay up late to watch it. You know, you had, it, it, you know, it was going to be some debauchery going on. We it didn't. Was, oh, get, yes. Yeah, we didn't get the um. Uh, uh, we didn't have the internet back then, so you you had to see what was going to be. Even though there was pre-recorded from like four months ago, but <laughs> you didn't know. Uh, do you remember what was your Adi? What was your um, more memorable Saturday Night Main event that occurred? Um, I can't remember. I, I wouldn't say an actual episode, but I do remember the anytime Mean Gene and the Bushwhackers would do something, <laughs> <laughs> like when they did the Oktoberfest. Right, right. <laughs> they were dressing their heater lows in with their cheese balls, and I think I remember seeing that clip with all of them eating, like, a, like having a, like an eating contest. And then ah, it, it, yeah. goes with, it goes the cheese ball, fight. the cheese ball. It was it, it, it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> and then, of course, the, the era of uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday Night's main event that I fucking get is Matt Hardy against Evander Holyfield. You get a weird six man tag with Kane, Eugene, and Doink. Against Umaga oh, yeah, Visser yeah. and and so, and uh, Kevin Thorne. Yeah, that's the, that's the weird Saturday uh, main events I use. That's I got so weird. Like, so every so everybody mistakes that the uh, title change with Andre and Hulk, where Andre gives the Intercontinental to the Tag Team Championship to Ted DiBiase. World Tag yes. Team Champion to Ted DiBiase. Everybody be- mistakes that to be on Saturday night's main event, and it didn't happen. That actually happened on a Friday main event. Uh-huh. So, 
What I remember that happened, one of the matches that I remember was a steel cage match between Hulk Hogan and Paul Orndorff where they both hit the ground at the same time. Mm-hmm. And this was like the drastic, I believe, uh, or during the drastic turn when Orndorff was turning heel on Hogan again. So mm-hmm. that was like one of the, the Sunday nights I remember. That and anytime Honky Tonk came out. That- yeah, well, I was going to say, was was this Sunday night's main event when Honky went to hit man, uh, uh, Macho Man with the, cha- with the, with the guitar and then Elizabeth slid in? Yes. I was begging like, please no. And then yeah. I did the whole stand by a man. <laughs> <laughs> the whole vignette with the song. I yeah. think I, 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 just a quick question. Didn't, say, didn't they also confuse like the no holds barred tag match they did with Pamar in the movie that was on Saturday Night's Man event? Or that, I think that was an all separate event, right? Yes. I think Hogan, that was... Hogan and Beefcake against Zeus and Macho Man. Yeah. Right. No holds barred. Shitty movie. We got to do a watch along of that shit one That'd day. Be, oh God. God. Along of that. <laughs> Lastly, before we go into the main event, um, the modern day Hulk Hogan, Cody Rhodes. Apparently, he um, fanatics and WWE are getting sued. Uh, I feel I mean, dirty. You saying the modern day Hulk Hogan is Cody? He is, no, he is the modern day Hulk Hogan. He's the real American, right? Without, without the racism. Uh, well, oh, yeah. yeah, no racism from him. Yeah. yeah, crazy. He's invited to the barbecue. We've been telling yeah, that. He's that. I mean, yeah. I mean, have, has anybody seen Cody's wife? <laughs> he's somewhat. And he's, he's half Latin. Yeah, as I said, he's somewhat Cubano, so you know, it happens. Um, sure of that. He's that. So apparently uh, a musician has claimed that he had the rights and trademarks to the name American Nightmare. So uh, do you where's see... He, where, where's he been all these years then? Listen, do you see that they're going to pay him off and say, all right, shut up. You could take this money and just go oh, away. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Why not, right? Here's a million. <laughs> shut up. I mean, Exactly. All right, all right. So let's get to the main event. The main event is all out. Um, by the way, I have to apologize to someone in the bo- in the group. I have to apologize to someone right now. I made a uh, broad statement recently, and I made a comment about how um, things aren't going right, and maybe uh, they need to focus a little bit more. And but it's actually two people. The first will be uh, AEW. I have to apologize to you guys. And the second one will have to be Ariana because I said the whole thing with Swerve and Hangman was um, a dead issue. But after Dynamite, <laughs> I, I fucking popped. You burned down the man's house. His childhood Ooh. home. Whose house? Yes. Not yours, because it's burnt to the it's, ground now. It's gone. Bro, and you know what? <laughs> Somebody brought it to my attention that the new Tron, or whatever you want to call it for, for Hangman lately, is very Walking Dead-esque. Right. There's a burning house in it. Oh, look at that. Long-term <laughs> storytelling, man. He's, he's burning, oh. he's burning. So Beautiful Easter egg um, right there. So, apparently, um, uh, uh, with, with, this they and what is it? Uh, um, they reignited the flame of this storyline. Uh, that's that's very clever, Jay. And I know that um a lot of people were already uh well this is nothing but a a, a hash a, 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 a rehashing of Randy versus Bray. Remember when Randy did it to Bray's house? I'm like, shut up. That wasn't a ha- that wasn't a house. That was a shack. Let it rock, man. Just let different. it rock. I mean. I- it, it- it, it makes sense. I mean, you think about Swerve broke into his home. Mm-hmm. So now he said, oh, yeah, I'm going to take away your home. <laughs> Not only that, he sat while it burned and was sipping oh. whiskey. I was like, oh. you're good. I did the whole good fella, uh, the, the Robert De Niro and um, oh, man. Analyze this. No, analyze those this. Pictures? You're mm. good. You're good. Jay. All those pictures they've been posting? Oof. Jay, what, what about the fact God. that he sat in Swerve's uh, dad's chair? Yeah. Yes. Listen, and then they were selling it early on because as soon as they were showing the pictures, like uh, Swerve got his old house. I'm like, something going down tonight. I, I should I should have known. Meanwhile, I was texting Ariana last night. Oh. I, we're like, we're talking about the show. And we're like, imagine because we mentioned the whole uh, him buying the house. We're like, oh, that's sweet. And then I was like, 
I think somebody, I saw somebody on Twitter say, "Imagine they set the house on fire." I was like, "Something going on." And, and then the they said, good. "And then they set the house on fire." And, and it's funny too because people also said that in WWE they give the whole "Holy shit!" or they point at the time trying to say, "You fucked up at uh, Hangman, you <laughs> you fuck you you fucker." In AEW, this is Austin. <laughs> Listen, I I really great. I, uh, Swerve almost got me too because his guy line almost started running too. So I was like, okay. I, I, oh he, my lord. He, was I mean, Swerve, he, he sold it perfectly. And Nana like this. <gasps> Nana had the reaction of, oh, I fucked up. I showed oh everybody the house. By the way, did anybody see um a, the picture of Prince Nana when he was doing a, a tryout match in WWE? Oh my god. That oh picture floated god, everywhere. Him on it. metal. <laughs> his big butt. He had a big old booty back then. <laughs> I, 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 I love the comments. He goes, "Yes, that is me." <laughs> so, uh, what we got for all out? Uh, surprisingly, uh, the day we're doing this, the day after Dynamite, there's only eight matches so far announced for the well, show. Don't we have coll- uh, uh, collision? Collision, where we have a wow. another match that's going to be uh, yes. With uh, they, they, they have the three matches booked for um, who's going to be yes. Uh, International title belt or continental, mm-hmm. yeah. And, I'm sure they'll, they'll add a couple of more matches tomorrow, right? And they're going head to head with SmackDown, yeah, right. Well, I'll be Ooh. watching Collision because I want to know who wins these matches, <laughs> and you so, can always go back to watch SmackDown anyway. So. I was about to say, Ariana just really doesn't, Ariana just really does not like SmackDown right now, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we have eight matches here for all out. Uh, we're going in order from what's opening to what the main event is. Opening match for the AEW International title. By the way, I feel like this is deja vu. We just did this two weeks ago for all in. Now we're back here for all out. <laughs> Os- Will Osprey defends against Pac. Osprey wins, but I yeah, <laughs> I want to say that this is going to be a really good match. It should be yeah. when you hear it. But I got a feeling this is going to be a real try-hard match for me, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be like that. Still going to be entertaining, of, but it's going to be a try-hard match. The amount of flips Osprey is going to do to Pac as well. I just want—I just want them to get fucking stiff, you know. And Pac, oh yeah, yeah. I just, that's what I want. I want to see some stiff shit going on. Yeah. It's a, it's I, also, I want M two. I want M two Wink to go. I don't like this cartoony shit. I want it to be a fight. They don't watch wrestling, bro. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you, you, you go in the corner with the rest of the people that have problems. <laughs> yeah, go watch UFC. Like, go, yeah, yeah. go watch UFC. Go watch UFC. UFC. Stagey. This, stop this being wrestling. stagey. This is, that's what wrestling is. Because believe me, I'm going to have somebody hold my arm while they walk a tightrope of the uh, uh, on the top of the tur- uh, and, not top pull them down. and not pull them down while they drop an arm or elbow into my arm. Yeah, right. That's exactly what's happening. Right? <laughs> we'll get a cigarette. Right? Like, what, what are you doing? We're we taking a walk. <laughs> Full Undertaker. Right. Yeah. How high are you going? <laughs> uh, are we ag- are we agreement? Osprey retains. Yeah. I will say it's good to have Pac back uh, weekly because th- yeah. there, there was a period where it was like he he was here, hurt here, then he goes back overseas. It's back to it's good to see yep. him back. It's funny. I have a friend who is a big WWF fan, and he hasn't really gotten into AEW only because he watches other stuff on Wednesdays. And he put it on, and he was like, "I didn't know Neville was in AEW." It's <laughs> mm. the sorrow, and I'm like, when, "Oh, now you know." <laughs> when you call him Neville, you already know. Yeah, yeah. That's a long, a long time. time. Yeah. And, he, and, and Vince wanted to turn him into Mighty Mouse. Bro. <laughs> Next up, it's funny you mentioned Cesaro. He teams up with Wheel Yuta to challenge the Young Bucks for the World Tag Team Titles. Last time I said the acclaimed were going to win based on the story. Fuck it. Just give it to Claudio and Wheel Yuta on this. Give them all the belts. Because <laughs> they are, cause the, the two, uh, t- both of them with Pac are the trio's champions as well. Right. Right. For um, me, for me, I have to say that I can't, I don't care about this match because of, I can't stand Wheel of Yuta. I'm sorry. It just, he turns me, to, he turns me off. I can't yeah. take you serious, fam. I can't. But it's hard to take that man serious, especially when he opens his mouth. 
he should have wore a mask or something. Like he should <laughs> like if this is something not a He always looks like he's like he's gotta take a poop or something. He's always <laughs> <laughs> he's always sad. He's always trying to look hard, but it, yeah, it looks sad instead. <laughs> right. He's like he's like, I want to be beat up too with the Blackpool Combat Club. <laughs> When they, used oh. to beat him, when they used to beat him up all the time. <laughs> he was like, oh, why not me? Why not me getting chopped like that? Give oh. me that. Jesus. And uh, he, and he's one of these pet projects that Tony Khan will never give up on. Yeah. I mean, well, look, he's good. He's improved yeah. a lot. Yeah. I remember when I first saw him, I'm like, this kid is not that great, but he has improved. Once he started working with Brian and Mox and, you know, he has improved. But his personality is just flat. It's bland. He has not. He's no character. Flat. Uh, either way, I see the chance retaining. Yeah. By the way, can we are we in agreement that this authority bullshit is failing miserably? It doesn't make sense anymore. It's gonna have to fade out eventually. Yeah. It was supposed to fade out of blood and guts. <laughs> I. Yeah, but then they won't win. <laughs> Wait, no, they, they, lost. they lost. They lost. They lost. Yeah, I'm thinking about the other thing. The. You have Daniel's being representative. Uh, Daniel's representative of Tony Khan. Meanwhile, Tony Khan is like, "I'm right here. I make, I'm still making the decisions." He's like, "I, I just don't want to go out there and get beat up." <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I have, um, if it's not me doing it, I have Christopher Daniels doing it. Yeah, right. and Big Show's running Ring of Honor. Fuck me. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> next up, me and Ari are excited about this match. for the CMLL Women's Championship. Oh, Chicago, yeah. Chicago. Oh. Chicago Street Fight, Will Nangill versus Chris Statlander. Actually, I heard I don't think the belt's on the line. No, it's on know. the line. Is it on the line? Okay, I heard yeah. Simon Miller saying it wasn't on the on the line, and he was confused. So I'm like, maybe because yeah. Chris won an eliminator because right. Chris won an eliminator match, which Jay right. loves the eliminator matches right. this to earn be... this match, and then Willow won the step thing at all ends. So yeah, they were, and now we're here. This, this, this is definitely the blow off. Yeah, sure. Let's defend. Let's defend another company's title on our show. Sure, no problem. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know. Like, let's. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, come I on. I mean, they'll Jay. be all over the place. It'll be a fun match. Come, uh, on, Jay, you know, come on, Jay. This is the third biggest women's feud this year. I want to see. I want to see Statlander get the rub, just so that she needs a win. Yeah, I, I, I need to get. I need to see that. I think uh, she'll get it. I don't I know. know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if the belt was is not on the line, I would say Chris wins. But if it is, yeah. I say Let me see. retains. Because because it, it says on Wiki, it, on, you know what? Wiki doesn't I'm have what? the belt on the line. Let me yeah. Let me go to AEW AEW Ruth's website and see what they have. Because I was like, that doesn't make sense if it's not on the line. But if so, unless so, CMLL has other plans, you know. Unless unless another promotion said, "Stop defending our belts on your TV show, idiots." Exactly. Hey, it, it gives them. It gives them freaking what you call it. Oh wow, they misspelled rampage on their damn page. A W on the A W ramage. Oh, I thought it was gonna be rampage. 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 They misspelled it on their own website. Yeah, they forgot the P. Chicago. Yeah, it doesn't show. It doesn't show. Um, if you can see, it doesn't, How- it doesn't show the belts. Yeah, you can't even see it because of the screen. So they did yeah. the Eliminator step for no fucking reason. Yeah, something must have happened. It's probably CML, CMLO, but definitely yeah. put their foot down and said, we're not changing the belt. Plus, so I, think she, I think, what's her face? Uh, Willow, sorry, Willow, <laughs> is defending it. Yeah, she's the, she's the champion. Another weekend, or next weekend or so. So maybe they plan to get, take it off of her and just... I don't freaking know, man. So, 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 so CML <laughs> definitely put their foot down. So, I'll, so I'll go with you. I'll say Chris wins this. Chris, yeah, is, yeah. Jeez. Next up, okay, here we go. Four way match for the AEW Continental Championship. Kazuchika Okada defends against the winners of these three matches: Orange Cassidy versus Brian Keith. Orange wins. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying who I think is winning. Lance Archer and uh, first Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe. Mark's win. Yeah, Mark's probably going to win that. Yeah. And That'll be a the, fun match, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And the, not for the Ring of Honor World title because fuck that company. No, yeah, no, no. And, and Konosuke Takeshita versus the Beast Mortis. Oof. They're going to be stiffing the shit out of each other. I think Takeshita got to win that one. He has to, yeah. The whole thing? 
No, just that match. Yeah. That oh, match. The yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious who's winning these matches. Although I wouldn't mind seeing um, uh, uh, Brian Keith win. Honestly, I think he's so good, mm. and he would be good in that mix. Yeah, but he's so little. He is. I was surprised how small he was in yeah, when I was standing really? next to him at one point. I'm like, oh, shit, this is Brian Keith. Now, like, who's taller, him or or, or Grisham? Oh, oh that's, so, like, that's a close one. I think yeah, Grisham's right? my. I think he's my height because Jordan's only like Jordan's a couple of inches shorter than me. And no, actually, she should be very because sh- she had on at the show we went to. She had on the little heels, heels, heels at the so, end. Yeah. Right. yeah, and I was a little taller than her, and I had on sneakers. Mm. So he's probably okay. my height. Yeah, but, but, uh, anyway, but anyway, Okada's retaining. Yeah, so like, yeah. All, the, all the fluff. Okada retaining. Yeah, and that the, that that'll that'll end with the Continental Classic if they do it again. Which is fine, but the prize will be it. a future world title shot, not for another one of these random ass belts that don't mean jack shit. Like doing that kind of tournament for another belt. Right. Well, no. If you win the Continental Classic, then you get a guaranteed title match of your choice. Right. Or like we like, like, or like do it the Lucha Underground thing. If you have this and you have like five sex successful defenses, then you could be like, okay, I want to challenge for the world title, something like yeah, that. I really, I really love that round robin they did. That was fantastic. Oh yeah, it was, they had the best matches. But yeah, then they added the belt thing. And they're like, oh, now we have a fifth singles men's title on this show. Yeah, I didn't expect the actual belts. <laughs> yeah. And, and when you mentioned the whole, they, met, they teased the whole Jericho Arms Cassie thing again, so he's probably going to be involved in cost charms this. <laughs> so, just drop a whole batch of mimosa on him. Oh, no. <laughs> Next up. Okay, here we go. MJF versus Daniel Garcia. Oof. Yo, that, that promo last night. Yo, yeah, Daniel was. Not with the Bottega. Oh, my God. But just the way Daniel was ripping into him, talking oh, about his yeah. earplugs and all that stuff. Oh, 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 he's getting real personal now. Because, well, I mean, when, when it comes to MJF, you have to be. Because you can't yeah. just have MJF roast you. Yeah, because like, he's such a jackass on a mic. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that not everybody's using the uh, turkey as their reference point to get all things cosmetically done. Uh, that's, yeah, that's yeah the they saying that's the place to go now. It's cheap and they do it very well over there. I know people that's Ooh. going to go over there and get their teeth done. I've seen some nose jobs from there, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's the hotbed. Yeah. You, used to, you used to go to DR for your BBLs, mm-hmm. right. yeah, exactly. So uh, you're going into somebody's garage to get my teeth done. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like. I don't know if this is sanitary. That's no, I got a, I got a story about my cousin. I don't yeah, know if he should. Yeah, I, I guess mean, I should tell him at this point. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay had that. Jay had that hesitation. Like, go I was on. waiting for the. End. <laughs> I was waiting for like the the Dragon Ball Z narrator to come out <laughs> on the next episode of the Miracle Tabloid. Cousin about their cousin. This story about yeah. their cousin. No, so anyway, she had she always wear wore braces since she was a kid. Just mm. terrible. Poor thing has just terrible dental issues since she was a kid. So, like 20 years ago, she found some dentist in a basement in a house in the middle of Corona, Queens. <laughs> Yay. And she's like, oh, you know, he came, he came referred to me, blah, blah, blah. So it was me, my mother, her, and her mother. We go. And she goes in, and within five minutes, she's screaming bloody murder. Bloody murder that my aunt jumped out of her seat and this is she was already a grown adult my aunt ran ran in there the guy had just went in and yanked a tooth out with no anesthesia nothing oh oh my god she had an impacted tooth back here and she was like this for the rest of the day like she didn't want to open it she want to eat she want to drink nothing that's horrible shaking oh. <laughs> so oh. yeah don't go into basements i would have um i would have gotten get your teeth fixed <laughs> I definitely would have gotten cocaine at that moment. I would have Ooh. been one time in my life just to get that oh, out. Oh, she, she must have PTSD. Oh, oh man. <laughs> no basements have, have ever. She <laughs> hasn't been in ever no. since. No, nothing no. ever good come out of basement dentistry. No, not at all. So MJF and Daniel Garcia. <laughs> yeah, back to... <laughs> um, get out of here, Leo. 
who I'm going to win more for this. I'm going to say MJF wins because they're going to pull out a new ring and he's going to hit um, Garcia with it. Mm. I don't know. I feel like Garcia kind of needs this win because mm. if they really want to keep him and make him a major player, he has to defeat a major player. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I but I, I know this. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I mean, I can see Danny win by surprise and then maybe another beatdown afterwards, but... Right. I mean, this way can go either way. I mean, for all we know, they go 30-minute time on the draw. <laughs> just for, <That's>, just for... <laughs> who knows? I heard somebody was saying that they, they could see um, Osprey and Pac being a draw. Mm. I want to see Wardlow come back and be MJF's bodyguard again. <laughs> you know what? I was going to say that as a joke, but motherfucker. <laughs> or maybe... Yeah, it'd be it'd be. I weird. feel like I feel like he's got something uh, over his head because damn, <laughs> he Bad did booking? something to somebody. No, I feel like he did something to somebody, and that's why he, he's getting the shaft. Or he's got a stank attitude that we don't know about. Maybe. I've heard he has a stank attitude, so maybe. Maybe. I mean, I'm just to go say, I have no idea anymore. I'll, well, do, I'll go at this point. All those juiced up muscle guys are the same way, you know, like the big guy back. You know? Roid Ragers. <laughs> you know. Oh, it'd be, it'd be horrible if he has a right back attitude. The big boy. Oof. The big boy. <laughs> the big backs. <laughs> Next up, uh, AEW TBS Championship. Mercedes Bonet against Akaru Shida. Camille is barred from ringside. Can we see Shida just take the shit off of her? <laughs> And Monet debuts her single of her new album coming in December. You know what I think is going to happen? Camille is banned, but she's going to have somebody else come out. Some other muscle person is going to come out. Megan Bain? Maybe. Well, yeah, maybe she's going to be. Because she is signed, right? Or some shit like that? I, I asked around. Apparently, she hasn't signed yet. Oh, okay. So she was like a prospect. Yeah. Okay, maybe. I mean, it could be her, or it could be. I also heard. Um, uh, oh shoot, I forgot her name. Is she Rebecca still with Lopez WWE? Is all elite Rebecca Lopez? She's oh, all Rebecca elite. Quinn. <laughs> oh, I was like, who the hell are you talking about? So Becky Lynch. Well, Lopez, well, because that's Seth's real ass name. Is that's Lopez, right, right, Lopez. Yeah, mm. Rebecca Lopez is all elite. <laughs> or, um, uh, Tamina, no, no. Tamina, that's what it is. I heard because her because Mercedes no, and Tamina are very alleged. good friends. No, I heard she got a Legends deal. She's still with on WWE. Really? I thought they let her go with everybody else recently. No, well, well, she, she, she has like the Victoria thing now. Yeah, oh, I I think, they took yeah. Her, oh, so never mind with Tamina then. Yeah. All right, then. Tamina, T- Tamina Snooker for the save. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, her Mercedes are like this, right? Because she went to go watch her debut with a mask on or some yeah, shit. Yeah. We're <laughs> for the Billy and Naomi, but Billy yeah. and Naomi. Well, they're the just signed, so yeah. I mean, as Mercedes wins, I don't see them taking this belt off her anytime soon. <sighs> Next up, AW World Title: Brian Danielson defends against Jack Perry in oh, Chicago. Brian's yeah, Ooh, Brian's this the shit, God. He's gonna make him fucking look like a star. I swear. You know, oh, yeah, of course. This is gonna be this is the most obnoxious match of the night for me. I, I, I mean, I, you know, like I, I, I understand completely why they booked it. They're in Chicago, number one. Mm-hmm. Everybody has heat with Jack Perry, the fans, right? In Chicago. Everybody loves Brian. So this match is gonna have so much heat from start to finish. Anytime Brian even touches Jack Perry, everybody's gonna be going crazy. Oh, and it's just going to solidify Jack as the bigger heel that little jackass heel that he is. Oh my Even god! John Moxley says he's still a sweet kid. <laughs> oh my god! When he said I walking through the through through the through the curtain, I was like, "Oh, they really trying to fucking put this kid over." God! But the way he said it, I don't care what anybody says. You're a sweet kid. I'm like, that could have put him over, or that could have buried him, one or the other. <laughs> and we're like, oh, que lindo. Mm. I laughed. I'm like, yo, because his face was like, what did he just say to me? <laughs> oh, that, yeah, Daniel Bryan wins. Um, of course. He, they're going to make it. They, of course, he's going to bleed. Cry me a Let them both bleed. Yeah, this is going to be. Um, yeah. It's funny you guys mentioned Moxie because I heard a rumor, because I know Jay's been speculating about uh, Shane McMahon coming in, right. but apparently. I heard there's more people coming in with them. Oh, and yeah. It, and it's 
the most valuable player in the Almighty. Oh, I'm telling you, I bet slowly but surely. I, them, them three with Mox and Marina Shafir. I like how they're using Marina. I really like this. Make her the tough woman. Yeah, finally. The, the submission thing is still. You know, she, oh, the mother's milk. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's wild. Do you know about the submission? Have you seen the mother's milk? Is that where she takes the person's head and put it in there by her breast and, and just chokes them out? Yeah. Chokes them out, yeah. But the and camera zooms in on camera. Marina's face. I'm not just. <laughs> I'm mad that she used the name of my boy from the boys. Like I know, Mother's I, Milk. <laughs> um, yeah, but I like I said, I, they, they, if they if they're able to do the whole invasion thing, you got me. I'm intrigued. I'm with it. Shane, Shane McManus is in the EW. And but still I still want to know what's going on with Darby. Like, why does he, is he trying to recruit Darby? I think I think that, I think he's gonna be the the um the target. Have the conversation with him, and then they're gonna. Beat the shit out of Darby because Darby could take any punishment you throw to him anyway, mm-hmm. and that's gonna probably be what leads the revolt and um, the whole ter- the, the whole takeover. Well, what do you guys think of the report that apparently they have? It's it's been talked about that Darby could beat Brian Danielson at Grand Slam for the world title. I don't know. I think it's too soon. <laughs> Darby's the one to end Brian Danielson's career. I think it's. I don't know. I don't think so. I just you know, to be like to be serious. I just don't think he's gonna lose it at. Um, I don't think Brian's losing that at, at Grand Slam. I'll be there, so let's see. That's so, such a, 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 a at least a wrestle dream for Brian. That's at what least. I'm thinking. At least to to wrestle dream. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I gotta get I gotta get you guys some stuff when you go to when you go to um, Grand Slam. We gotta get you like stickers and cards and all that. Get you get you all ready for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there with I'll be there with the nephew. Yeah, so just, yeah. Just, uh, just Ariana, just like dressed in like New York wrestling media. No, 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 this, this is causing like, listen, hey, hi. Hey, hi, there you go. Go to go to the bathroom, <laughs> slap a sticker on the wall or something. You know. uh-huh. And uh, now we're yeah. at the main event. Oh, the, the, oh the, is this the, the hangman? This is the Swerve Strickland versus mm-hmm. Hangman Page, Anna Page in a lights out steel cage match unsanctioned Oof. anything goes oh man a- aw is not li- liable on anything these two are doing all right so well, and, 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 and it's confirmed to end it's going to be a main event in the show okay so swerve yeah. gets the gun he shoots hangman and that's it match over that's it <laughs> <laughs> yo cuz it's like my god hang I mean, the blood got drunk what's next yeah you know just pull up, just pull out the gun just shoot him he's he's done um uh, you know Swerve's gonna do a double stomp off the top of the cage. Oh please, we 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 saw what happened the last time someone jumped off the top of a cage. Put on a table day, under Hangman, please. <laughs> on, on this day, Adam Copeland broke his fucking leg. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's back training again, so he should be coming back soon. And he has the greatest run in 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 his career. <laughs> Fuck off. Anyway, um, it's amazing that this company goes, it, it keeps going and do, does these shows, and they have guys like Copeland, Cole, Joe. A lot of these like, main eventers are out on the on the shelf due to injury or just personal reasons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going. Um, I'm going Hangman here. Because uh, he hasn't won any of these matches, right? He's lost all. Yeah, and I'm like, you you took the strap off of. Well, Swerve for a week for this. And but, after, like, but after last night, they gave us a reason to care about this. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm like, you, you, yeah. You know, I, I, I've already did a kind of a promo site for this. I, I'm just gonna say, Hangman wins this because they're gonna yeah. keep the story going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any, any, yeah. Chance, any chance Nana turns on Swerve? No. Oh, no. no. that'll just be no open. way. That would that would that would kill Nana's career. Yeah. Not, that that is. Because I saw somebody say Nana was like with Swerve because he was the golden goose, but now that he doesn't have the belt anymore, he's like, you're a loser. No. I, I need to go with the winners. Because no. their intent is to get that belt back. Yeah, I still he, think he's the one retiring, Brian. But... And you still got to give you got to give uh, you got to give somebody a, a fighting chance against Swerve for Nana to do the turn so that mm-hmm. he can align himself with them. Uh, now, if, if anything... I would see Swerve turn on Nana first. That's if you true. really want to make him a heel, that's what you do. Right. Yeah, but but but, but it's more like because last night Hangman told, turned fully heel at this point. He's been tweener for the last couple of weeks. 
Last night was a full full on heel turn for him. Oh yeah, yeah. That, oh, that yeah, last night was it. Mm-hmm. That was heartless. Yeah. So no, no more was... messing around. He said, "Fuck you, fuck your family, fuck." <laughs> uh, that, that was still a great shot of him in the chair. Just I tell you, that's a shirt. If he was, if he was a smoker, that would have been even better. If he had like a cigar mm-hmm. or something. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh no, but it was better with the beer. Oh yeah, it was great. He had no, he had like whiskey, right? He had a whiskey, yeah. Mm-hmm. He had a whiskey. Mm-hmm. But I say Hangman wins too. His, he can't lose all four of these matches. He needs no, to no, lose no, no, one. No. He he's gonna win this. Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy match though. Mm, can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> how, how bloody are we gonna get, people? That's what I'm saying. I can't wait. That's what I want to see. This is what I wanted to see. <laughs> he's gonna be menstrual, menstrual, menstrual. <laughs> oh, crazy. All right, gonna wrap it up here. Typical tabloid. Once again, I want to thank my people's uh, coming in and stopping by, kicking it late. Uh, luckily, my game hasn't started yet. It's almost starting soon. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but I got my peoples from History and Headlocks, Ariana and Mike stepping in, stopping by, and um, where they could get you guys and where they could find you guys at. Look at the screen. Oh. IG. <laughs> you can't say that. At, no, I'm just saying. Oh, Ash, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, no, you can find you can't me do that on, on this platform, Ariana. You can find me on Instagram at Ariana dot not dot the dot grande. Me personally, M underscore Sarantino. <laughs> and for all of our episodes, New York Wrestling Media, subscribe, tap the bell, do all that YouTube nonsense. Make sure you follow us on all podcasting outlets as well as all the socials, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, um, OnlyFans coming soon. OnlyFans is coming soon. <laughs> Right, not, my, no. not my feet, not my feet though. No, no, no. Jay's feet. You're gonna have to see Jay's feet. We're gonna go. We're gonna. We're gonna work on that. I'm telling you. And New York Wrestle Media guys on YouTube, Twitch, and of course, follow us on the TikToks as well. And as always, gotta hit the outro because Mark never knows when the episode is done. Check you guys in a sec. Two, one, zero. All engine running. Sit, Terrence. Have sit. Good boy. Ruff.